Hey guys, super excited to finally be sharing my Desert Roses. Now, I got these a few months back and it looks like this one is about to bloom. Adenium obesum aren't always the easiest plants to care for, so let me share with you guys everything I know about how to care for a Desert Rose. These houseplants are native to parts of Africa and Madagascar, and in all honesty, I really shouldn't be calling these houseplants. They are really more of an indoor, outdoor type of plant, because when you distill it all down, they rely particularly on heat and light especially if you want them to flower. Before jumping into all of the crucial care tips, there are a few other important things that I want to share with you guys when it comes to the Desert Rose. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler, and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, or better yet, you can subscribe to my channel. All right, so like I said, a few other things to keep in mind. These plants are pretty poisonous, so any sort of sap or fallen leaves are things that you uh, you know, should be picking up quickly or at least be aware of, especially if you have any pets. Otherwise, these succulents are absolutely gorgeous. They have the most beautiful flowers, and they have this really sort of unique chunky base and I'll come back and touch on this when I'm talking about watering and they have these really cute sort of oblong um, leaves and foliage. If you're picking some up from your local nursery or wherever you get your plants, it's a good idea to look for some with that chunky base because this is a really good sign and indicator of a healthy desert rose. Some other key considerations to think about is these plants are deciduous and that means they can lose their leaves in the winter time and as I mentioned they are pretty poisonous so just something to be um, aware of and they can actually go dormant in the winter time as well now both of these things are a lot more likely to occur the dormancy and the uh, falling leaves especially when you live in the Northeast like I do in a city like Boston even uh, as keeping these as indoor outdoor plants if you want to see more content like this, please give this video a thumbs up or comment down below. These plants are considered slow growers and will only grow so much in the growing season. So how do you care for the beautiful desert rose? Well, like I alluded to earlier, it really all comes down to heat and light. When it comes to light, we're talking full sun. So in the late spring and summer, that means that these are hanging out outside. And in the winter months, a south facing window is best. You're gonna wanna wait until the weather is consistently above 70 degrees uh, before you slowly transition them outdoors. Now, because they've been indoors all winter, they do need some of some time and an adjustment period to gradually um, get used to, if you will, the full sun and all of that sun exposure. Basically, to put them out in the full sun in one go could overwhelm the plant and do some damage. Watering the desert rose is also a seasonal thing. You're gonna wanna water them when the soil has completely dried out in the summer and growing season. In the winter, you're gonna want to water them sparingly, especially if there is some dormancy happening. No more than once a month tops. Soil can be another really important factor, especially if you don't have it right. These plants need a sandy, gritty, well-draining mix, which makes complete sense. Think desert. Now, one thing you don't need to worry about, a consideration you don't need to take into account, is humidity, and that's a bonus. I've kept mine in their nursery pot, 
um, as you can see here, and that's mostly because the best time to repot these plants is after they have flowered, but also because these plants like to be snug in their containers. So if and when it's appropriate to repot these plants and you've got the timing right, just keep in mind to use a new container that's not more than an inch larger than the current nursery pot just to keep this nice and stuck. When you do repot them, keep in mind to do it when the soil, the existing soil is nice and dry and that way when you are removing it from its uh, original container, it's easy to remove any of that soil surrounding the roots. Another good tip is to not water the plant after you've repotted it for at least one week. In terms of fertilization, I've gone and used a well-balanced diluted fertilizer. I started this in the early spring and I'm giving these desert roses um, some fertilizer about once a month and I will continue that through um, the beginning of the summer as well. All right, so I do have three different varieties of desert roses here with me today. This one is referred to as the Double Noble Plum Beauty and to the far side is the Star Cluster. Now give me a check uh, out on Instagram at Tyler Mossup. I'll be sure to post a lot of pics and photos of these desert roses when they're in full bloom. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out there. And basically that's it. What has your experience been with the desert rose? Sound off in the comments down below. Well, that's it for me. Oh yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Miss you guys already. Until the next one.